Hi guys, my name is Brenna Sylvester. I am here with BTC and Sports Cough, showing y'all how I use TBH, True Beautiful Honest, in the salon. We're gonna wait about a minute or so for more people to join. But while I'm waiting, I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about myself. So I am at a salon called Kaleido Hair out of Houston, Texas. It is actually Liz Haven Salon at Liz Haven. Um, I've been doing hair for about three years and I started as her assistant. So um, we're just gonna wait for more people to join. I'm excited to be here. And this will be the end product. So this is the end goal on how to take a highlighted client into something more lived in and make her color a little bit more rich. And all the tips and tricks that I use. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I wanted to share with you guys, the more you comment and interact, we are doing a giveaway. Swartzcloth is giving away three True Beautiful Honest VIP kits worth a salon value of $152. So the more you comment, the more you participate, you'll be entered to win. So definitely ask good questions. I want to hear it all. I'm here to help y'all learn. So with this particular um, mannequin head, I have clients that come in all the time that get one highlight a year and maybe get three partials after that. So they normally have a lot of, can you see that? They normally have a lot of depth in here and normally have a harsh line and they have um, highlights on top. So I'm going to show you all how to make that a little bit more lived in like this doll. And I have Kennedy filming, so she might be asking questions. She is Liz's assistant, so I am borrowing her for the day. So thank you very much, Kennedy. Okay, so get to get to it, I am going to take sec round sections, the shape of the head. So it's a little different. She's a mannequin head, but I'll try and show y'all to the best of my ability. So y'all can kind of see how she has a line of demarcation. So I'm going to go ahead and try and start blending that out using TBH. So what I'm using for the darker color is I am using TBH as a demi. I am using shades 549C and 651C equal parts. So you mix that one to two with Agora Vibrant 6 Ball to make it a demi. It just has a little bit more of a punch than making it into a toner, which is really cool about TBH is that it's multi-dimensional and it's multi-use. So, which means it is a permanent color line, but you can also make it into a demi and a gloss. So that is the way I am using it today, is I am rooting her with the demi, and I'm gonna tone her with a gloss. So the gloss is 9-49C. So the way you mix this, the gloss, is you do one part, um, permanent color cream, one part Agora Vibrant 6 Ball, and one part Tone Softener. Does anyone have any questions? Um, there was a question about asking if the mannequin was previously highlighted. Yes, we had, Kennedy actually helped me do this. Um, we had done a foliage in the back and a partial highlight on top, which I feel like kind of that's about what my normal clients come in that are wanting something a little bit more lived in, but they're not quite ready to get rid of their blonde. And Brenna, what do you call this technique? I call it a reverse highlight. It's not quite a reverse balayage, um, but I am adding depth back in. So I would call it a reverse highlight because they still have, if you want to show them this, they still have all this depth, but it's still super bright. So those clients aren't quite ready to commit to more depth and growing their natural out, but maybe want to be a little bit more rich on top, which I feel like is happening right now because it's winter, is they still have all this blonde, they still feel blonde, which I think is huge for those clients that aren't quite sure exactly the look that they want. And Lori had a question um, asking if you're working on the hair wet. Yes. So um, I like to do this wet. You can do it dry, but um, I like to do it wet. I feel like it glides on a little bit better. 
um, you can blend it a little nicer so you're not stamping the hair. But one thing I will say is I like to use the tone softener. I'll actually show it to y'all right now. This tone softener is amazing. I actually use this as a blending agent if I'm doing a reverse balayage on dry hair. So you would what you would actually do is see how you can show them this. You can see how I am blending this down. What I would do is if I'm doing it on dry hair is I would take the tone softener and I would apply it say this is the tone softener, I would apply it right here and I would blend it down. That way it's a blending agent. And what's really cool about the tone softener is it has shea butter, macadamia oil, and argon oil. So it's super moisturizing. And Brenna, are you taking horseshoe sections? Yes, I am. I always work with the round of the head, which is actually something Liz Haven taught me. I just feel like it creates a more natural gradient look. And then I use my Fermar brush or any sort of wet brush just to blend it. Just creates that seamless blend that your client's gonna want. And Karen had a question um, asking what is TBH? So TBH is a permanent hair color line by Schwarzkopf. It is multi-dimensional, which means it will still have 100% gray coverage, but you're still going to see some of that shiny, like it'll almost look like you have like little glimmers of light in the hair. So that client that doesn't necessarily want that full coverage look, I think TBH is amazing for them. And questions? Lori wants to know what brush you're using. I am using the Fermar Power Painter. I am obsessed with this brush. I use it with everything. You can get a lot of product on there and it has the really nice bristles on the end. So I feel like my blend is always amazing. So I'm naturally just going kind of past the round of her head. And Sharon wants to know how long you will leave this before you rinse it out. I'll leave it about 15 minutes. So the recommended time for the demi, which is the one part color cream, one part um, or two parts, six ball Agora by Rinse Developer is 15 minutes. If you're doing a gloss refresh when you're doing the color cream and the six ball Agora Vibrance with the tone softener, that's about five to 10 minutes processing time. So it's a really quick refresh. William wants to know, are you going roots to ends through? So what I'm doing is I am basically melting her from a, about a five and a half to a level nine. So my first formula that I am rooting her with is one part um, 549C, one part 651C with two parts Agora Vibrant 6 Ball. And her end formula, her gloss is 9-49C with one part 6 Ball Agora Vibrance Developer and one part Tone Softener. And this is the gloss. Brenna, do you use heat at all whenever you're doing this application? No, this does not need any heat. What's really cool about TVH is I use this in the salon all the time. I think it is beautiful. It creates these natural looking muted tones, real pearly. Um, I just feel like it's just, it's so multi-use. So if you're a hairstylist that likes a brand that you can do that, I think TBH is amazing for you. Brenna, what is the purpose of a tone softener? The purpose of the tone softener is to dilute the formula. And like I said, it adds moisture in the hair. So it's, it's amazing. Like it has shea butter, macadamia oil, and argon oil. Be sure that y'all comment and ask your friends to join because at the end of the live, we will be picking three people to win a TBH 
VIP kit that's worth $152. Um, so be sure that you are participating, asking questions. I want to hear all of it. Would you call this um, technique, would you consider it more of like a low light or more of a toning service? Ooh, I would probably call this a toning service. So the way I would probably do it is um, I'd probably add, I'd probably charge them for two toners and then it'd sit and process for about 15 minutes, rinse them out, blow dry them, you're done. So it's really easy and low maintenance. Any more questions? So when I get up here to the top, what I like to do is I like to drop it down a little bit lower to create a little bit more depth in the back. Brenna, can you explain your saturation that you're using? Yes, so I'm full saturation. I have a lot of product on my brush and I'm applying a lot of pressure onto that. Same thing with the gloss. So again, my uh, formulation is one part 549C, one part 651C, two parts six volt Agora Vibrance Developer. And my end formula, my gloss is 9-49C with one part Agora Vibrant six fall developer, one part tone softener. And I use this in the salon probably a couple of times a week. I'm obsessed with TBH. And Lori wants to know, how do you keep this from getting patchy when you're doing this in the salon? If you create full saturation between the two and you brush through, you will not get any patchiness. It's gonna be a beautiful even blend. If you were to do it on dry hair though, my recommendation is to use the tone softener as a blending agent. So it's being used in an untraditional way, but like I said, it has shea butter, macadamia oil, and argon oil. So I'm obsessed with this, obsessed with it. So when I move on to the front, we wanna keep that um, front bright. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm really, really careful when I am applying it so I don't get rid of any of the face framing highlights. That's really important. So let's just say you wanna achieve this look, you can do a foliage in the back and on the sides, highlight her hairline and do a mohawk section highlight. So I'm again, I'm gonna be very careful with the way that I apply this. I do not want to get it on that front hairline because I want to keep that bright. But I'm also going to go past the line of demarcation so we can blend that out so it's beautiful and blended. You want to make sure that you get her hairline. And if this is a real guest, don't get it on her face. <laughs> Any more questions? So once I get up here, so you can see that line of demarcation, we wanna get rid of that. We don't want that anymore. So we're gonna apply our demi. And I'm using a demi to blend this out because it has a little bit more of a extra punch than that if I were to use the gloss. Just to really cover that line of demarcation. And then I just use it to blend it out and you can see it's just a seamless, seamless blend. Be sure to ask questions, guys. We have a giveaway. Schwarzkopf is giving away three true, beautiful, honest VIP kits that are worth a salon value of $152. So the more you comment, the more you ask questions, the more you'll be entered into the giveaway that we'll announce after 
the live, I will be reaching out to you. Again, we want to be careful with the front, so I am applying the gloss in the front, which is my 9-49C. The 9 stands for the depth of color. The 4 is the primary tone, which is a beige. And then the uh, 9 is the secondary tone, which is violet. And C is the um, color world the shade belongs to. And they have natural shades, cool shades, and warm shades. And again, TBH is a 100% gray coverage permanent line. A fun little tidbit to know is that if you have a client that is more than 50% gray, you want to um, mix whatever tone you want. Like say you're trying to mix 8-19C, you wanna mix two parts of that with one part of one of the natural shades to get 100% gray coverage if they have 50% or more of grays. So again, I'm gonna blend this out. I'm going to turn her. You can see how that's already starting to take so pretty and blended. Any more questions? And if you miss a spot, you can always go back through, resaturate, it'll be fine. So I'm going to let this sit for 15 minutes once I'm done applying. And guys, if there's any questions we didn't answer at the end of the live, I will go back through and I can uh, personally message you or you can message me on, give, shoot me a DM on Instagram at Brenna.Sylvester and I would love to chat with y'all. Always make sure your hands are clean too when you're doing this, that way you do not stamp your hair. Do we have any questions? Going past that line of demarcation with my dim eye. Using my gloss. Kennedy, do you have any questions? Kennedy just got her license in June. Would y'all guys be interested in me showing y'all how I mix these? So when I'm pulling it down, I'm kind of flicking off so I'm not applying as much pressure. That'll also help with your blend. And TBH is so creamy because you're using that tone softener and you're using the uh, demi. All right. 
we go. So this is gonna process for about 15 minutes. And the end result should be something like this. Kennedy, if you wanna get a uh, front part so you can kind of see. Looks great. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show y'all how I mix really quick. So Kennedy, if you want to pan over here. So, what I'm gonna do, how I mixed my demi. So I did 9-49C. So I'm going to do 0.5 ounces of that. Or 0.6. I'm going to do 0.6 ounces of 6-51C for the demi. And then for the demi, you do. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do. I'm not good at math, so we're going to do 1.2. And I'm going to tear it. I'm going to do 1.2 again. So it's 1 to 2. There we go. And then you're going to mix it. It's going to be a really nice gel consistency. And this is the demi. So, Brenna, um, how would you make this a permanent color? So, a permanent color, you would do um, one part of the TVH color cream and one part of 20 Ball Agora Royal developer. So, that makes it a demi. And so for the gloss is when you'll use that tone softener? Yes, so for awesome. the gloss, I'm just going to mix a little bit more of my bowl because I don't have another bowl. So what you do is I'm going to do 9-49C. I'm going to do 0.4 of that. And then I'm going to do 0.4 of Agora Vibrance 6 Ball. And then I'm going to do 0.4. And a little bit more. And then I'm going to do 0.4 of TBH Tone Softener, which I told y'all before. I actually use this as a blending agent as well um, when I do a reverse balayage because it has macadamia oil, argan oil, and shea butter. And then you mix that, and it makes it a little bit more creamy. So the tone softener dilutes it a little bit, and you let this process for five to ten minutes. So what does that C stand for on the color tube? The C is the color world that the shade belongs to, so cool. Okay. And they have warm tones and natural tones. So the six is the depth of color. The five is the primary tone. The nine is, or the one is the secondary tone. And the C is the color world that it belongs to. So six dash five one C. Level six, gold, Sandre, cool. And this one is level five, beige, violet, cool. I also like to use the, um, the 10 series, that which is a high lift. I actually kind of break the rules for a guest that wants to be a little bit more bright. You can show them here. A little bit more bright on the ends and just to add a little bit extra punch because it has a little bit more ammonia in it. Since it is a high lift, um, you can apply that to the ends. It'll make them a little bit brighter and have a little bit, but it might actually, if you put it on their base, it might lift their base just slightly. Karen wants to know, um, so you just changed the permanent color to a demi just by switching up your products? Yes, by switching up your products. So if you want a demi, you do two parts of Agora Vibrance, six fall if you want a demi. One to two. So one part color cream, two parts of Gora Vibrance six fall. If you want to do it into a gloss, you do one part of Gora Vibrance cream, one part tone softener, and one part of Gora Vibrance six fall. And you can show them this again. You can kind of see how it's processing. You can really see how that's blending yeah. out too. Yeah. 
Does anyone have any questions for me as we wrap it up? You can check the after on um, BTC. It will be, this live will be here forever. So if you want to save the video, you can or screen record. Um, the after BTC, I'm sure we'll be posting it. And I will too on my IG at Brenna.Sylvester. Um, Stacia, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, she is wondering if the formula on the ends is just a shine gloss or is it actually lifting or lightening the ends further? It is just a gloss. So it is. Is 9-49C with Agora Vibrance 6 Ball with one part tone center. So it doesn't lift at all. It just adds, it's, it's very translucent. But it adds just that perfect muted tone. You can see how this is turning, how rich the color is. And Do you... Do you always use um, straight sections on the side? On one side, um, on, or what do you use on the sides? I tend to do more um, horizontal sections. In the back, I take uh, horseshoe sections, which someone had noticed, which is a great. Um, but yeah, you can see. Any more questions, guys? We are probably about to end the live. The more questions you ask, the more you'll be entered into a giveaway, which is three TBH VIP kits for a salon value of $152. So I will be reaching out to you directly. Um, when you say demi and gloss, can you explain the difference in the power of each? Yes. So I don't know exactly the full term. Swartzkopf can probably answer that. I just do know that using six ball developer um, will be a little bit more powerful than using six fall developer with the tone softener. The tone softener dilutes it. But Swartzkopf can answer the actual, like, you know, scientific term of the difference between the two. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining my live. I hope y'all learned a lot. Um, my IG is at Brenna.Sylvester. Thank you, Kennedy. Thank you, BTC. Thank you, Swartzkopf, for allowing me to do this. I'll see y'all later.